Hello, it's Kizer from Tag Schooling. In this session, we learn about kidney. We learned kidney in seven different headings. These are definition, location, external features, internal structure, relations of the kidney with different organs or veins arteries coverings of the kidney and finally neurovasculature of the kidney so first talk about definition so you see this is kidney look it's bean shaped so According to definition, we have two types of definition of kidney. First is anatomical and second is physiological. So first talk about anatomical definition of kidney. So according to anatomical definition, kidney is a bean shaped pair of excretory organ which is situated on the posterior abdominal wall on each side of the vertebral column behind the peritoneum. Now talk about the physiological definition. So, Kidney is a pair of excretory organ which remove the waste from the body and also maintains pH of the body and osmoregulation. This is the physiological functional definition of the kidney. Now we have go through definition now come to location. So what is the location of the kidney? From both end, both kidney right and left. It's situated in the epigastric little bit, then in the hypochondrium, left kidney in the left hypochondrium and right kidney in the right hypochondrium. Then the lumbar regions, left kidney in the left lumbar region, right kidney in the right lumbar region and then the blacker region. Okay, this is the location of kidney. Now talk about the extension of the kidney, how much extends it from where to where. So both side kidney extend from the T12, upper border of the T12 lumbar vertebra. To the center of the body of L1 number vertebra from T12 up to L L3 sorry L3 number vertebra okay and the right kidney is slightly lower than the left kidney just because for the presence of right lobe of the liver which is very large so that's why right kidney occupies a little slightly down position than the left kidney and the left kidney is slightly near to the median plan than the right kidney so this is the location of the kidney According to size, shape, orientation and weight of the kidney First we go through the shape of the kidney, it is bean shaped Now how it is orientated and what is size First is size It is 11 cm long, 6 cm broad 11 cm long, 6 cm broad and 3 cm thick According to its weight, it is different in Weight in both females and males. In males is 150 gram, in females is 135 in gram. Okay. Now, how is this oriented? Orientation of the kidney. It is oriented like this. Uh, it is slightly downward and lateral. Okay, like this. And vertically. And horizontally, it is slightly backward and lateral, like this. So, it's placed like this in the body. Now, in the fetus, kidney is lobulated in the form of lobules and it is made up of about 12 lobules, okay? And now, but in the adults, the lobules combine together to form a complete kidney. So when you see a kidney, you see lobules like structure lining which demarcates that in the fetus, kidney is in lobulated form. So now we have go through definition, location, now come to external features of the kidney as kidney is a bean shaped organ so it has two poles upper pole lower pole okay two borders lateral border medial border and two surfaces this one is anterior surface this is a coronal section of the kidney it's not a complete kidney so it is anterior section and surface and posterior surface now first we'll learn about the poles so look at upper pole is broad like this broad shape and it's close contact with the suprarenal gland 
towards it's not mentioning this figure but here is the suprarenal gland is present it is a triangular gland it is present on the upper poles of each kidney right and left now lower pole lower pole is pointed slightly pointed and is present in the iliac fossa of the body on the right right side and left left side now come to surface of the kidney it's difficult to distinguish surface of the kidney by directly locating at the surfaces because there is not much difference between both surfaces not anterior one not posterior one so identification of anterior surface and posterior surface is by the structure present in the hilum which we will learn later okay now borders of the kidney this one is the lateral border which is convex in shape it is convex and this is the medial border it's concave in shape and it has a depression in the middle in the center this depression is called hilum hilum of the kidney now come to the hilum of the kidney and its which structure is present in the kidney and how it's present in which order the structure is present in the hilum of the kidney so how, first of all we learn which which structure is present in the hilum of the kidney so what is hilum it is a point it is a location where artery or vein leave or enter into the kidney renal artery or renal vein leave or enter into the kidney this point is called hilum or hilus of the kidney so which structure is present renal artery renal vein and renal pelvis in which order it's present from anterior to posterior first of all there is renal vein anterior this is renal vein then comes renal artery and in the end this is renal pelvis so how you rememorize this you can say wow wow urdu sound wow like this wow v for renal vein from anterior to posterior a for renal artery u for renal ureter or you can say renal pelvis look at this this is renal vein this is renal vein here is renal artery here's come renal pelvis and this is the ureter its continuation so by this feature you can identify the anterior and posterior location or surfaces of the kidney okay there is some oftenly there the one of the branch of renal artery is behind the ureter so we can see a structure like this va ua means renal vein then renal artery anterior branch anterior branch then renal ureter and then renal artery posterior branch sometimes structure is present in this order okay now we have go through external features of the kidney now the 